Okay guys, so like I said before, my battery is low, or it's not low now, but it was low before, so it cut off on me twice. Okay, so, um, and not to mention my little girl is home, so Joshua is not all up in my spot right now while I'm doing a video. Um, that's not a problem though, that's my baby. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I mentioned school, yada, 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 that's it for that. Um, YouTube, I feel like I'm, I am starting over on YouTube. Um, I'm excited. I'm thrilled about doing so. Um, I'm also in the in um, a place where I'm transitioning or yeah, I'm transitioning in my life and I'm transforming in my life to another a better person, a better version of me mentally, physically and spiritually. Um, so I mean, I'm getting my body back. You know, my son is two and a half years old now. So I'm getting my body back. I'm stepping back into my glow, my power. I'm not letting any haters, okay, throw me off my my throne, my throne, my goals, or anything. Um, there's quite a bit of haters out there that I have, guys, and I'm pretty sure you guys have some too. But I got some haters um, who try to throw black magic my way, who try to hate on me and wish my downfall. Family, ex friends, whoever you may be. Um, and I send all of that shit right back to them. Okay. Um, I know who I am and I know what kind of protection I have in the spiritual world. So whatever anyone tries to throw at me, boom, bam, it's going right back to you. Okay. So anyways, aside from that, um, cause I've gotten a couple trolls trying to comment some nonsense on my videos. Like I know being an influencer, you know, it comes with the territory trolls, but these trolls, I know who you are, okay? I know who you are. And you got deleted, you got blocked, and you will always get deleted and blocked from anything that you try to display towards me, okay? Okay, so moving along from the haters. We don't need them, um, we don't need to keep bragging about them or talking about them. So what else do I have here? Um, fall vibes, I am ready for the fall. I am so ready for the fall. Um, we just left Trader Joe's and I'm going to bake some pumpkin muffins tonight. Um, I made some two nights ago and my kids devoured them. Like they absolutely love them. They are so good. So I'm going to make some more tonight. It's a good snack. Um, kind of healthy for them to snack on throughout the day. If they want some something sweet, um, as well as myself, I like to have some with some tea in the morning or the night. Um, what else do I have? Fall vibes. Yeah. So I'm not into pumpkin, but I'm, I'm exploring my pumpkin options. I did try, um, Starbucks pumpkin spice something very, very good. Now, the thing about Starbucks is that they try to scam you. Like, Starbucks, I love you. Of course, like, you're, there's something inside of their drinks that is absolutely addicting. And we all know this, right? Um, but when she made my drink, okay, it was like 50% drink um, and the rest was foam. And I was just like, did I just pay almost $7 for foam? Like, bro. So, I you know, I'm not feeling that. I think I'm going to try to make my own stuff at home. Um, I may come up with my own drink and show you guys, um, on the weekend when we have time. So yeah, um, candles, I'm into candles. Um, I used to like sweet smelling candles, but I, I don't like it. I, I don't like anything that smells like food anymore. So yeah, so I'm going to be hunting for more candles eventually for the fall. Um, I'm excited about Halloween now because my son is two and a half. He's able to, you know, fill it out and, and have fun with it without us, without us like do this, do that, do that. You know, now he can like literally do it by himself. So excited about that. Um, yeah. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah. So I'm in the midst of, I'm really evolving as a person. And, you know, I always wanted to be that girl to get her nails done, her toes done, like, all the time. But my life never, um, I never had the opportunity to do so. Because of uh, me being a mom and because me not having a lot of family around me where I live. Also, my, my both of my parents are deceased. So, um, I never had an opportunity to just pamper myself and be that girl girl, be that soft girl. Because I've always been working hard. I've always been hustling with businesses. I've always been just not focused on myself in the physical sense, okay? Um, always focused on myself spiritually because that's who I am. That's who I've been since I was a little girl. But 
I never got a chance to pamper myself every two weeks. Toes, nails, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So that's my goal for the rest of the year and beyond. You know what I mean? To be that soft girl that I know I am. And um, yeah, so that's one of my goals. Comment down below if you get your nails. No, I don't like the chemicals though. You know, I am have, I'm really involved in the products that I put in my body, my kid's body, and then onto our skin. So it's like, do you really want to get your nails done every two weeks with all those chemicals? I don't think so, but I want, I, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking about it, all right? Um, so what else did I want to talk about? Um, yeah, I just wanted to also let you guys know, um, because I've been watching a couple of platforms and things like that, and a lot of people are going through something. So I want you to know that people's actions mean a lot, and they mean more than words, to be quite honest. Of course, you want someone to tell you nice things and, and you know what I mean, but people's actions, that's who they truly are. You know, that's how they truly, that's how they truly feel about you. So if someone's mistreating you in your life, that is exactly how they feel. And you have to really take that into consideration. That's who they are and that's how they feel about you. And you guys really need to observe things like this. And if somebody, if somebody is not treating you right and you know you gave your all to them, then you guys really need to reevaluate your life and that situation. Okay. I don't know why I said that, but that's a message for somebody um, another update is about my weight loss. So, um, let me say this, maybe four months ago, I was on the scale and I weighed 190 something. This was like four months ago, I think. Yeah. Um, 195 was it? So I was weighing myself back to back trying to see, and I just put the scale away guys. I put the scale away. And I didn't want to focus on the numbers because not only was I losing weight, but I still was <laughs> working out. So I was building muscle. So um, I don't want to focus on the numbers, but your girl has been dropping the pounds like and I'm still staying curvy. So, you know, I do want to also do some workout videos for you guys. Like I have a lot of good things in store for you guys. Um, and uh, my weight loss journey is going absolutely amazing. I have a lot more weight to lose, but not too much. Um I'm just maintaining a healthy body weight, okay? There is a certain number that I want to go to. I'm not going to display that, but there's a certain number that I want to go to. Now, I growing up, I was a small, skinny girl. A skinny girl from the time I had a, my first kid. Um, my lowest weight was like 115, 114. I was always skinny. And then when I, you know, then I got the curves. Curves run in my family. Like, we were all curvy, big boobs, hips, you know, little booty back there. So, yeah, my weight is going good. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my recipes that I came up with. Because um, I can, I just made a lentil soup. I think I may insert some clips of that in this video. I'm not sure. But I, not a lentil soup. It was a, veg, a veggie soup, but I forgot. But it was so good. It's kind of like Indian based or whatever. But yeah, so the weight loss is going great. I'm going to definitely be sharing my ideas for food with uh, you guys for that. Um... And just, I want to say, surround yourself with people that love you wholeheartedly, all right? Um, do so. It's going to work out for you, all right? And I know that it's hard, it's not easy to find your tribe, okay? But if you don't have your tribe, be out there looking, okay? Be on the hunt for it. If you're watching this video and you are a good person, kind heart, you feel me, then subscribe to my channel, okay? And support me on this beautiful journey because I'm on the road to 1K. Um, is there anything else that I want to talk about? Um, yeah, I don't think so. That's, those are all the, I, yeah, we moved, um, to this new place here recently. We've only been here for like a week and whatever. So, um, I'm, we're adjusting to it. Um, we literally, to be quite honest with you, we're looking so hard for a place. The market is so crazy right now. This is not what we really, you know, this is not. This is nice. This place is nice, but we had something else in mind. You know what I'm saying? But we came through some odd. It's, it's, the market is crazy. Okay, it's like so much competition for things, and then whatever. So we ended up choosing this place at the spur of the moment. When I say it was the spur of the moment, it was like the spur of the moment. It was like, okay, I'm about to take you. Who cares? We're just we gotta get settled in somewhere. School started, so um, we'll be here for a year. But yeah, so. 
Um, I will, I don't know if I'm going to do a house tour. I'm not one of those people to do house tours. That's not my thing. Um, I will show you guys some decorations that I have done to the place. You know what I mean? But, um, you guys will see the Christmas tree and whatever. But yeah, so yeah, we moved. We've been here for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks to be quite honest. Um, it's cool. It's cool. The neighbors are cool and we're just getting situated. So Azalea has a bed coming soon and yeah. We put up our Christmas tree, guys, yesterday. Um, I didn't really want to put it up, but where we were before, we had so much storage and so much space. And here, there is no storage, really. And there's there's not a lot of closet space, which is weird. I think there's the place is big enough to have a lot of storage, or but it doesn't. It's just one of those places that were that was designed in an awkward way. But it's nonetheless beautiful. Um, but yeah, what else do I have to talk about? I don't know. But that is a quick update that for you guys, all right? Um, I'm sending you guys so much love and light. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do so right now. Um, my channel is called Pamela Janani, Earth Goddess. And I will see you guys in the next part or the next video.